and Indian schools and weave their diverse threads together in his unique compositions. Rabindranath Tagore was moved by the Vatiali songs, songs of the boatmen, the Baul composition, the kirtans, and the folk tunes. His music perfectly marks the melodies with the poetry that he composed into his famous Ravindra Sangeet. It is due to his exceptional work that he survived, he is revered as the first and the greatest composer of modern India. Rabindranath Tagore had prophetically stated that he hoped that even if he himself seems to be forgotten, his music would live on today. A hundred and fifty years later, he is still an icon, just as his writings are acclaimed by critics and connoisseurs of Bengali literature, the Rabindra Sangi has been embraced by generations in the subcontinent and students across the world. Indeed, Rabindranath Tagore had a deep understanding of the musical traditions of the world. In a conversation with Albert Einstein, he observed, and I quote, I am deeply moved by Western music. I feel that it is great, that it is vast in its structures and grand in its composition. Our own music touches me more deeply by its fundamental lyrical appeal. European music is epic in character. It has a broad background and is Gothic in its structure. Uncle. Ladies and gentlemen, Jubin Mehta's music too has the power to transcend boundaries. He has already marked 50 years of his celebrated and successful musical collaboration with the Vienna, Berlin and Israel. Fial harmonic orchestras and earned for himself a unique position in the musical narrative of the world. It's a matter of pride for India that even though he is considered to be the citizen of the world, he has retained his Indian citizenry and as he traverses the five continents and enthrills with his performance, he is India's cultural ambassador. As he reaches out through his music to inspire states and their people with his message of tolerance and peace, we pay tribute to him for his unfailing efforts to foster unity and understanding among the communities of the world. His spirit and dedication is an affirmation of Rabindranath's own words, and I quote, the heaven of freedom, where the world is not divided by narrow domestic walls. I congratulate once again Master Jubin Mehta and wish him a long life, good health, and many more purposeful years of brilliant music. No doubt he will enthrill the audience of travel-stricken Kashmir. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind. It's my proud privilege to propose a vote of thanks on behalf of the Ministry of Culture, Government of India, for the award ceremony held today, for presenting the second Tagore Award for Culture Harmony 2013 to the illustrious Master Sri Zubin Mehta. Indeed, we are grateful to him 
to be here with us for receiving this prestigious award. We are thankful also to the Honorable President of India for having spared his valuable time from his busy schedule for presenting the award. Sir, as usual, your presence has been very inspiring. We are equally grateful to the Honorable Culture Minister for her enlightened guidance and unflinching support, but for which this function could not be organized successfully. We are also grateful to the Secretary, Ministry of Culture, not only for presenting the citation, but also for being a guiding force all through. Our thanks are due to the President Secretariat for extending all support and cooperation ungrudgingly in organizing this function in a very befitting manner. Our thanks also to the dignitaries, excellencies, media persons, and other invitees for attending the event and making it successful by their participation. Thank you very much indeed.